Cameron Diaz is one of Hollywood's most beloved and highest grossing movie actresses of all time. Who does not remember that scene from Something About Mary? And she has spent most of the past decade off camera. But just a few weeks ago, Diaz announced her return to the screen, yay, in a new Netflix film with Jamie Foxx. CBS Saturday Morning co-host, that's Dana Jacobson, spoke with Diaz about why she took a break from acting and how she's been spending her time, and it involves some wine. Good wine. Dana, good morning. During the <laughs> pandemic, Cameron Diaz did launch a wine label, Aveline. It was with her friend, businesswoman Catherine Power. It's a new arena, but it brought Diaz, who quit acting back in 2014, back into the spotlight. When the blockbuster comedy The Mask hit theaters in 1994, Cameron Diaz, just 21 at the time, became one of Hollywood's most sought after actresses. I know, it's crazy. Leading roles. I work alone. In every genre. Who sent you? Soon followed. But in 2014, after 20 years. This is happiness. And 40 memorable roles. Surprise. Diaz made the decision to hit pause on acting at a time when she was the highest paid actress over 40. At the top of your game, when you leave your career, why did you leave it behind? When you're doing something that you know and you've done well and you've, you know how it works and it's consumed your whole life for so long, it's kind of a nice thing to kind of go, you know what? Let me just step back for a second, take a look at what, you know, what the whole picture looks like for me and what are the things that I could do better and be more engaged with that would make me feel more whole. And I did that. Do you miss acting? I mean, I miss aspects of acting or making movies. Yeah, yeah making movies is a particular skill set that is fun to exercise and be a part of. But yeah, life is, it's a different lifestyle and you kind of have to be ready to do that. Now, after an eight-year hiatus, she's ready to return to the big screen in a film aptly titled Back in Action, starring alongside Jamie Foxx. Everybody only has 100%, and you always have to figure out how you're going to divide up that 100% to spread it to all the parts of your life that matter. Right. Much of what matters today is family. A year after stepping out of the spotlight, she married Benji Madden, lead guitarist for the rock band Good Charlotte. They're now parents to a two-and-a-half-year-old daughter who they've chosen to keep out of the public eye. Has motherhood changed you? Yeah, definitely. What do you enjoy most about it? Gosh, I think just the um, being able to, you know, have influence and on a child that's developing. Yeah. You know? All mothers have that moment where you're watching your child and they're doing something for the first time and you're like, I remember doing that. <laughs> It's yeah. really cool. Cameron, those are good knife skills. One of Diaz's other loves, cooking. Food is my love language, you know? I love that. It's feeding. Yeah. My husband married me because of my cooking, I'm <laughs> certain. <laughs> it's a passion that goes back to her childhood. Memories of cooking every night with her mom. My mom is still my favorite cook. My mom's food is the food that I want to eat because it's like the food I that I associate with my heart, right. you know? And it's only natural that her love of food goes hand in hand with her love of wine. I'm curious. I want information. I want knowledge about, you know, first how my body works, then how my body ages, and then how does it wine work? That curiosity led her to Aveline, an organic and vegan wine label she launched in 2020 with her friend and entrepreneur, Catherine Power. We realized that it really starts with the grape. From the beginning, we were told that we couldn't do it. You know, there were a lot of obstacles, obstacles in yeah. trying to bring, you know, this clean, delicious wine, these organically grown grapes, and this kind of wine with these kind of standards to market. Their company started out just as girl talk over a glass of wine, wondering what it was they were consuming. And they quickly learned it was often more than just fermented grapes. There are over 70 additives that can be added to wine during the winemaking process without any disclosure. So, you know, you're just not aware of what is going into your glass when, you know, 
if you eat something, you're able to look at the nutritional information and in yeah. the ingredient list. You know, also the majority of vineyards here in the United States are not organic and often farm with harmful, you know, chemical pesticides. They made a commitment to source their grapes from organic farmers from around the world. They also took a closer look at the wine filtering process. The thing that shocked me in reading about your wine Wine has to be vegan, right? I mean, people look at it. It's wine. Wine is vegan. Apparently, yeah, not all wine is vegan. Yeah. I mean, I remember the moment we learned that we both were like, what? We looked at each other with <laughs> like our chops. We're like, wait, how, how? explain that yeah. to us, yes. please. Oftentimes, wine is fine or filtered using animal byproducts. So we, you know, learned that and we thought, God, what about the people that are, you know, vegan who are consuming wine and they don't even know that because right. it's not typically put on a bottle. Transparency is the cause they're championing, and their main goal is simply to offer wine drinkers another option. Having Aveline in the market is just one step closer to, you know, providing um, an industry with a, you know, a roadmap, you know, something they may have not considered before. The decision to launch Aveline seems to have been an easy one for Diaz, who has long been committed to health and wellness, writing two books on the subject, one focused on aging. Your second book to me mm -hmm. seemed unpredictable for somebody in Hollywood. Mm. It talked about aging yeah. and doing it gracefully, not saying, let me not age. Mm -hmm. It was about letting yourself age. Yeah, it's, well, I mean, looking, aging is something you can't stop. You can just do it as good as you possibly can. But what helps you do it more gracefully? The total experience of aging, not just sort of the one aspect that we're so focused on. The look. Um, yeah. The look of it. Which, by the way, no judgment. If people want to, like, I don't have any, like, if it makes you feel better, great. Right. But also don't ignore all the other aspects of what is happening as you, as you go along that journey. So Diaz turns 50 this year, and you hear her talk about priorities. So many of us have gone through this. How do I do everything? And she was so committed to that acting career that it was, I need to step back so I can figure out how to do some of these other things, too. So yeah. I, I get it. I, I <laughs> the impression she likes being a mom. I'm always yes. cheering for her. I think, I think she's not only a great actress, I think she's a great human being. She's so fun. She's got a great personality. Yeah. So. Is yeah. the wine good? The wine was good. And it's funny because we came upon this story, Natasha Singh, the producer, and I were having glasses of wine saying, we should do a story on a wine. Let's look up. And <laughs> Natasha found that Cameron had this wine. Wow. And their story was so similar that it was one of those conversations with girlfriends. Yes. You and Natasha How can we had do this? girl talk. Right. They had girl yeah. talk. Yeah. Yeah. They had girl talk, yeah. and that's why the wine. I, I was shocked to know that she had been retired from acting because or she hadn't done a film in 10 years because it feels like I see her often on my television screen. If something about Mary is on, yeah. I like the pause holiday, I'm all doing, of those. Yeah. And I just watch it because she's ubiquitous. Yeah. So it's great to And like acting, she is such a part of this business. She's not just putting her name to it, she's a part of it. And she and Jamie Foxx together, that'll be fun. That'll be great. <laughs> Dana, thank you for your follow up question. Isn't all wine? I know, right? <laughs> I had no idea. I would have thought yes.